with Austin's Water is that right now it's coming in roughly 100 times more cloudy than normal. The city worries it will not be able to clean it enough to meet federal standards. KXAN's Tom Miller headed out to UT to talk with the professor who taught many of the city's current environmental engineers and shows us what they are up against. If there's anyone who knows the ins and outs of water treatment plants, it's this woman. Now you can actually see the particles and before all you could see was this murky cloudiness. They almost look like little bubbles, is that? Yes. Dr. Lynn Katz heads up UT's Center for Water and the Environment and spent her morning consulting with Austin's water department. So the turbidity is, in, is particles in water, but they don't settle. It's that turbidity or murkiness that's Austin's problem. And ideally, it would be very clear. Dr. Katz showed us how the first step at a treatment plant is to pull out those particles. Right. So this is the very high turbidity. To do this, chemicals are mixed in that clump them, weighing them down. Something replicated in this experiment. You can see that there's particles building up at the bottom. This becomes increasingly challenging with more unpredictable cloudiness. The vial on the right shows Austin's normal water intake. The vial on the left shows the current intake, measured as 100 times murkier. This is unprecedented. We haven't seen numbers like this. If all of a sudden you say, well, here's a completely new water, and, I give you, and I'm going to give you 20 minutes to figure out what to do, that would be a challenge. It's proving to be a dilemma for the city, too, on a much larger scale with more severe consequences. Filters are quickly clogging, and finding the right chemical balance to treat the water takes time. Katz foresees the crisis lasting days with more rain coming. When it's going on for days, that's where the challenge comes in for the treatment plants. In Austin, Tom Miller, KXAN News. Austin is currently meeting the federal standard for water clarity and has not failed any tests but it's worried it soon might not pass, hence the boiled water notice.